Hello guys, in this video we'll be looking at autosomal DNA results, uh, predicted phenotype traits, and GED match results of a Sarmatian individual from the Iron Age who lived in the Pontic Caspian steppe. Here's what he looked like. He had uh, dark brown eyes at likelihood 49%, uh, snub-shaped nose, which is kind of like an upturned... Oh, I, I made a blunder here. I depicted him with a long nose. I should have... Uh, I should have made him have it, but just imagine this picture, but with a snub nose, right? So I just kind of made a blunder here. I didn't really pay attention to my own results. Uh, he had black hair, and with snipper free, he's predicted to have brown eyes, um, black uh, hair, and white skin. I didn't post the HRS Plex prediction because uh, he wasn't genotyped for the major variant in BH2 and HERC2. So, and because because HRS Plex is not capable of imputing, HRS Plex is, does not give a uh, prediction for his eye color. But basically, based on the other genotypes that he had in the HERC2 region, you can pretty much assume that he had two dark alleles in the major BEH2 mutation, and you can pretty much assume he had uh, very dark colored eyes. His genotype in drd 2 pro frenetine pro variant is kind of exotic for a European, maybe not so much because I also have the same genotype, but Europeans tend to have uh, AG or AA, which here is represented by CT and TT. Uh, now, the implications of him having GG genotype is that it's most common outside of Europe and it has an increased risk of schizophrenia and he's probably not a no-go learner. When it comes to Comte's uh, val -Met variant, or also known as the warrior gene, his genotype is also um, quite not European. He's a warrior with the IO, which is a genotype most common outside of Europe, like in Africa and in East Asia. Uh, the implications of this genotype is that he had quicker dopamine reuptake, which means less dopamine in his system at all times, uh, which means disadvantage in memory and attention tasks, but advantage in stress resiliency. He did not have derived OXTR, which is what I call the sociopath gene, so no sociopath gene. He also did not have derived EDAR, which is a gene implicated in East Asian facial features, so probably did not have uh, East Asian facial features. And to finish off the traits, he did not have the European lactose persistence mutation, which I think is kind of bull, like, I'm not going to finish the word because it's YouTube, <laughs> but um, I think a lot of people with this genotype tolerate lactose just fine, like me included, I have this genotype and I drink milk every day, I'm doing very, uh, I tolerate lactose perfectly fine, so maybe it's not as important as uh, SNPDS says it is. Here's his result with Eurogenes K13. By European standards, this is an extremely, extremely exotic result. Uh, he's scoring 31% West Asian. This is, you don't see this in any European today, not even in Greeks, not even in, you just don't see this in any European. This is not a European uh, result. And he's closest to Tajiks, Tabasarans, which are in Dagestan and Tatars. Uh, not so surprising. And with the Oracle, he's getting modeled as a mixture of like Tabasaran plus Finnish or alternatively Finnish plus Baloch. Uh, so, Relative to Northern Europeans, this person was very, very Southern. Here's his results with the G25. This is the uh, official G25 sample that I found on Explore Your DNA. Uh, he's getting modeled as basically a mixture of like half Caucasus plus half uh, Udmurt and North Finnish, which is kind of like, I guess, um, very Northeast European. This is what he scores with Eurogenes K36. The dominant components here are South Central Asian and North Caucasus. Uh, I actually don't see a lot of Phenoscandian here. I only see 6% Phenoscandian. And he's basically like a mixture of something from very northern Europe, like North Sea, North Atlantic, with something from like Tajikistan or Turkmenistan. Something, a mixture of uh, Caucasus plus North European is what I'm seeing here. This is what he scores with the MZOPK16. Now pay attention to the 12.5% Indian that he scores. I think the Indian here uh, represents some kind of BMAC admixture. So this person did have BMAC admixture for sure. And with the Oracle, he's closest to Mishar Tatars from Mordovia and all kinds of Tatars, but distance pretty high. Uh, not a very reliable result. And he can be modeled as a mixture of people from Badakhshan or Tajiks plus Finnish from Kusamo. Kusamo is Eastern Finland, right? Or Russian from Pinega. Pinega is also in uh, north of Arhangelska Oblast. Uh, so basically a mixture of really far, far Northeastern European plus Tajik. And this is what he scores with Harappa World. This is actually a very good calculator. In fact, probably the best calculator for South Central Asia. Uh, the Baloch category here is a little bit different from Caucasus. Because I noticed that Caucasus category peaks in modern Caucasian groups, like modern Caucasian ethnicities. It's some kind of a modern Caucasian drift. Whereas Baloch is more of an ancient ca category representing ancient Caucasus drift, like Caucasus hunter-gatherers or even Iranian Neolithic farmers. That's why like Northern and, and uh, Western Europeans score a lot of Baloch on this calculator and not a lot of Caucasus. 
Very interesting calculator, actually. Uh, with the Oracle, he's closest to Mardwin's, and um, like a mixture of Mardwin plus uh, something in Pakistan. This is what he gets with Pondiane LK10. A very, very exotic result, because you see the 40% Caucasus Hunter Gather, which is like a crazy amount of CHG admixture. And what makes this sample really different from everybody else is the low ENF. He's only got 6% ENF, uh, so not much European Neolithic. Uh, farmer admixture and he getting he's getting modeled as a mixture of Mardvin plus uh, groups in south uh, west of Pakistan like Makrani I think are from southeast Iran uh, so basically this individual is not a typical northern European whatsoever as a lot of people believe a lot of people have this belief that Sarmatians and Scythians were like normal regular northern Europeans that's not the case because no normal regular northern European is going to score 37 percent Caucasus HG on this calculator uh, which this individual does score and with the Oracle, he's getting modeled as a mixture of Iron Age Scythian, which I don't even know what the sample is. I've never seen the sample on G25 or anywhere else. Uh, but this is, the this, is, this is the sample that represents Scythians with the Oracle. And he's getting modeled as a mixture of this sample plus Armenian or CHG. This is what he scores with Ancient Eurasia K6. Now, one interesting thing you can notice is that this result kind of looks like the Caucasus Hunter Gatherer result, except uh, he lacks ancestral South Eurasian. It's interesting that he does because uh, he has Caucasus ancestry and Caucasian Hunter Gatherers both scored ancestral South Eurasian on this calculator. So I'm thinking that modern European drift kind of uh, moves further away from the ancestral South Eurasian. So the ancestral South Eurasian affinities get weaker and weaker with modern Europeans as you go further into uh, Europe in, into time. Uh, with the Oracle, he's getting modeled as a mixture of Steppe, Iron Age, plus some groups from the Middle East, which makes me think that the reference group for Steppe here is kind of uh, more Northern than actual Steppe. And finally, this is what he scores with Gidrosia K3. A little bit less East Eurasian, actually, than I expected, because uh, on Ancient Eurasia K6, he scored like 30% Ancestral North Eurasian plus on top of that also like 10% East Eurasian. So I was expecting at least 20% East Eurasian ancestry, uh, but maybe not. And this is his like ancestral components with G25. Uh, looking at this, you might get the impression that this individual is basically like 75 or 80% Yamne, but this is not the case. He's not 80% Yamne, it's just that the Yamne here is absorbing some of the more uh, exotic components uh, such as uh, BMAC ancestry. To finish the video off, I'm going to show you what ancient samples this individual was closest to on G25. It seems to be closest to other Sarmatians. In fact, uh, surprisingly, Sarmatians from Caspian Steppe or Pakrovka or Urals are all kind of similar to each other. Like, they, they all kind of, dip, dip. regardless of where they're from, they're all similar to one another. Thanks for having watched until the end. If you enjoyed uh, the video, leave a like and subscribe. And you can download this sample in 23andMe format from link, which is going to be in the description.